There is a lot going on at Stellantis, the company formerly known as Fiat Chrysler, you know, Ram Trucks. Previous leadership talked about a special truck coming, the Range Extender Paradigm Breaker. At the New York Auto Show, when they fully revealed the Ram Rev, their battery electric truck, they also talked about an XR model, extended range, that would be coming later. More details. Well, now we have it. Back then, I did a video showing four different options for what that truck could be. And I'll put a link to that in the notes. Going to take it down because now we have more information about this special truck. It's option number three of the four that I presented. And best of all, it's got a new name. Bev Rev XR was okay. It's now called Ram Charger, which is just kind of makes the hair stand up in your arms and separates it from the lineup. In fact, this truck is going to be really different from anything that Ford or GM have planned. So look out for it. Let's get into the details. In my original video, I detailed the difference between a parallel and a series plug-in hybrid electric vehicle. A parallel plug-in hybrid electric vehicle is like the Jeep 4xe system, which unfortunately you don't necessarily have to plug it in. You're wasting your money if you don't. But unfortunately, lots of people do. They just drive it around like a regular hybrid. It's not doing the benefit of that battery on board. A series plug-in hybrid electric vehicle is what the Chevrolet Volt with a V was and the BMW i3 with the range extender, the Rex option. It is really a battery electric vehicle with a gasoline generator built in. And that's what Ram has developed. They've provided lots of pretty pictures and running footage, but this is the money shot I want to look at. I, I, I shouldn't use that word, but any, anyway, zoom in. You can see that's a CCS port, so that's the combined charging standard, and that means this thing will DC fast charge. It is a battery electric vehicle. It's not just a mild parallel plug-in hybrid like the Jeep 4xe system. It has a front and rear motor. I had some concerns about how they would package all this. That's why I questioned if they could fit an electric motor up front, but that's what they've done. Let's start with the engine. That is the Pentastar 3.6 liter V6. That's a venerable engine. Normally it produces about 260 horsepower and it's mated to a generator. So it's just generating electricity, replenishing the battery as you go along. Now, the generator is specified at 130 kilowatts, so that's about 174 horsepower if you do the conversion. Underneath that gasoline engine and in the rear, you can see those are the electric drive modules, the EDMs they call them, basically motors and the motor controller, 250 kilowatts up front, 238 kilowatts at the rear. Now, a little bit of a question there. When the Ram Rev, that's the battery electric truck, was revealed at the New York Auto Show, they talked about 250 kilowatt modules front and rear. So the numbers at the rear are just a tiny bit different. I don't know why that is. Maybe, maybe the Rev will come out with updated figures as well. We'll have to wait and see. But you can see the, the power output of those front and rear motors are pretty much identical. And if you look at the specs for 0 to 60, towing, uh, combined power, they're all right on top of each other. So the Ram Ram charger performance and the Ram Rev should be just about the same between the two of them. So it's going to be interesting comparison between that. What is different, though, is the battery. So that front engine with the generator is replenishing a 92 kilowatt hour battery. That's smaller than the standard 168 kilowatt hour battery or the 229 massive kilowatt hour battery of the Rev battery electric truck. So that will save a little bit of money, but it does, you know, help to offset the fact that you're putting a gas tank, an engine, a generator, and an exhaust system with a catalytic converter all into this truck. So once pricing is announced, that's going to be really interesting how the battery electric truck compares to the Ram Charger, which is a series plug-in hybrid. I'll pat myself on the back a little bit. I did have some concerns about how the exhaust would be run. And two options. One, you could 
shoot it out the sides like old muscle cars, but I don't even know if that's legal anymore. The other option is what they went with. So they scooched over, if you will, the battery, and that allows a little bit of room for the exhaust to run. Now, there is some thermal concerns with this configuration, and it's not unmanageable, but it's certainly something they're going to be working on to make sure it doesn't cause any problems. You now have exhaust running past that 92 kilowatt hour battery pack. So they're going to have to really insulate that and make sure you're not just heating up the battery while that engine, that gasoline engine is running. There's plenty of, since this is such a big truck, there's plenty of room for a gas tank. We'll have to see how many gallons that is, but it does provide a, an exceptionally long range in terms of miles, so it's more than enough. And then that exhaust also runs by that rear electric drive motor. Maybe that's why it's a slightly less powerful version on the Ram charger than the Rev battery electric truck is because they had to make room for the exhaust. I don't know. We'll have to see. If you start off with that full battery, that 92 kilowatt hour battery and a full tank of gas, and you run that little engine as hard as it can and try to replenish the battery, Ram is targeting a range up to 690 miles. That's, that's really, really impressive range. Now that is probably just under normal operating conditions, not towing anything, but still it's, it's gonna be something they can brag about and GM and Ford, should be looking at this very, very closely from a competitive standpoint. Going back to the BMW i3 with the Rex, owners will tell you that when the battery was low and you were just running on the range extender, the performance of that vehicle diminished. And that's gonna be something we have to look at with this truck as well. When you just look at the, the numbers on paper, the combined two electric motors can output 488 kilowatts of power, but they're being replenished by a generator that can output 130 kilowatts of power. So there's a difference there, and the battery in between is acting as that buffer. But as you start to get very low on battery, that gas engine is gonna be trying its best to replenish the battery, you may get into a situation where you cannot output the full amount. So. You know, yes, it has 690 miles of range, but maybe the last 150 miles, you're at a diminished power output. In other words, if you stomp on it or if you're towing something, it might not be able to perform as well as it did when the battery was full. So this truck will be coming out in 2025, but they're not done making changes to the lineup. The base 3.6 liter V6 stays around. The Hemi V8 is gone. Yeah, we, we kind of knew that was happening or that they would at least be adding the Hurricane 3 liter twin turbo inline six, but that is replacing the Hemi V8 in the Ram trucks. That also includes the TRX performance model. It will no longer have the supercharged Hemi engine. It will rely on a Ram high output inline six. So probably going to be some disappointed customers. I'm sure there's going to be some dealers marking up the last few TRXs that they have on their lot. Above that, you will have the Ram Rev. That's the full battery electric EV, which with a standard battery that is big and an optional battery that is just ginormous. And now we also have the Ram Ram Charger, which I love the name again. It is a series plug-in hybrid. If you're just driving around town with it, you may never kick in that gas engine. So if you charge it up, you'll have zero tailpipe emissions. And when you need it for longer drives, it can go up to 690 miles with some assistance from that gas engine. So this is quite a formidable lineup for Ram. They've always kind of been that uh, outsider mentality, a little bit thinking outside of the box. And that's how they've won a lot of market share, particularly from GM. This is just another example where GM and Ford need to be looking at what Ram has coming up and whether they have the product to compete with it. This is going to be interesting. Thanks for watching this video. And if you're interested in subjects like this, why don't you hit that subscribe button or at least give this one a like. Thanks for watching.